Hi, I'm Shashank Bhargav and you're listening to Three Things, the Indian Express news show. After months of evading summons by the Enforcement Directorate, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal, in an unprecedented move, was arrested by the agency last Thursday. Kejriwal, whose campaign against corruption in 2011 gave birth to the Aam Aadmi Party, has been arrested in the Delhi excise policy case. Shortly after he was taken into custody, senior party leader Atishi spoke to the media. Arvind Kejriwal ka arrest Bharatiya Janata Party ki aur Pradhan Mantri Narendra Modi ji ki ek rajnaitik saazish hai. Pradhan Mantri Narendra Modi ji ko agar kisi ek neta se dar lagta hai to wo neta Arvind Kejriwal hai. 2 saal mein Now since then Leaders from the Aam Aadmi Party have been staging protests across several parts of the country, including the capital, where they have been joined by their supporters. Now, with Kejriwal's arrest taking place just days before the Lok Sabha elections, and two of its senior leaders already in jail, the Aam Aadmi Party now faces an existential crisis. Moreover, the arrest of a sitting chief minister has once again raised concerns about the government clamping down on the opposition. Shortly after the arrest, Rahul Gandhi hit out at PM Modi, saying that he is a scared dictator, sounding the death knell of democracy. So, in this episode, we talk about the concerns that the opposition parties have been raising and the BJP's thinking behind this move. But first, we are joined by Indian Express's Malika Joshi to talk about exactly what K. J. Rival has been accused of and the challenge his arrest poses for the party. So Malika begin by talking about what led to the arrest and how long had the enforcement directorate been trying to summon Arvind Kejriwal So the enforcement directorate case in the excise policy was lodged in 2022 but the agency sent the summons to the chief minister for the first time in October last year and since then the agency has sent nine summons to Arvind Kejriwal and he hasn't uh, appeared for questioning in either of those nine summons it was after that that he was finally arrested by the agency when he's got summons from the agency he's spoken about how his legal team thinks that the summons are illegal and also he's asked the agency what capacity he has been called in whether it is as the chief minister as the party's head or as an individual so these are the things that have happened in the past in connection with the summons he has also raised issues like campaigning for elections rajya sabha elections and his engagements in budget finalization as reasons to not appear for the ed summons in the past right and this like you said relates to the excise policy case could you talk about what exactly are the allegations against him so the allegations against him basically are that he was involved in the formulation of the policy and also in the generation of kickbacks the ed remand application that was filed in court it makes the claim that since he is the head of the aam aadmi party and if the aam aadmi party is seen as a company he would be equivalent to its director and how he then holds the responsibility for whatever happens in the company whether he is directly involved or not involved so those are among the main allegations made by the ed against kejriwal and malika we understand that kejriwal's name had not actually come up in any fir related to the case so tell us where exactly has his name been mentioned and in what context does it come up so while there are two cases registered in the excise policy one by cbi and one by the ed in none of these two firs was arvind kejriwal's name really it, it wasn't spoken at that time he wasn't the main accused in any of the cases it was only in the ed charge sheet that his name cropped up for the first time where an accused in a statement to the ed said that he had been told by kejriwal to continue working with aap communication in charge at the time vijay nair because he was his boy so that's how his name first came up 
till he was arrested there was again nothing mentioned in the charge sheet no direct charge sheet really against him per se in either the cbi case or the enforcement directorate case right and talk about what happened on thursday what happened when the enforcement directorate reached kejriwal's house so after the delhi court did not give arvind kejriwal a relief in terms of protection from any adverse action the enforcement directorate reached the chief minister's residence in civil lines on thursday evening by 6:30 they were there with a the team uh, the enforcement directorate officials were there according to party members the family and kejriwal were questioned some papers were checked some devices uh, looked at such as computers and phones and finally after a couple of hours he was arrested it took the enforcement director officer some time to take him away to their office because there were a lot of people outside of his house including the back entry the front entry all of those things so that took some time but he was finally in the enforcement director at office late uh, evening And Malika, have we seen something like this before? When a sitting chief minister has been arrested like this? So there is the case of the former Tamil Nadu chief minister, but the difference over there is that when she was arrested, she was had been convicted in a case. Here, the trial in the excise policy has not really started per se, and Kejriwal has not been named as an accused in any charge sheet so far. Of course, that now with the arrest, that all of that is going to change, but. Uh, it hasn't really happened before that a chief minister has been arrested pending conviction and malika talk about the aam aadmi party leaders how did they react immediately after the arrest so a lot of people in the party a lot of senior members in the party were actually convinced that he would be arrested sooner or later and they have all called this action an attack on democracy they've also reached out to their alliance partners they are now partners uh, with the congress and other leader and other parties in the india block they've also called on them to condemn this action but the one thing that our leaders have been very clear about is that this doesn't change who leads the party or who leads the government so of course the first reaction was you know attacking the bjp but it's not something that took the party entirely by surprise right and it's not just kejriwal right two other senior members of the aam aadmi party are also in jail at the moment and with it the party really is facing an existential threat right now but when we talk about kejriwal in particular first will he continue to be the chief minister and can he really do that so yes two senior party leaders former ministers manish sodia and satendra jain have been in jail while manish sodia has been in jail in the same excise policy case satendra jain has been in jail for a case unrelated to delhi government policy matters but this effectively means that the top leadership of the party which included both of them there's no one else among those who can actually take on the mantle of running the government and running the party right now as for kejriwal continuing as chief minister the party has made it very clear that there will be no change he will continue as the chief minister the question of whether he can do that is a little more complex because so the aam aadmi party says that the legal opinions that they have sought make it clear that there is no bar on him running the government from jail but there are several practical concerns over here can he hold a, let's say a cabinet meeting if a cabinet meeting is to be held how will he participate in that can a cabinet meeting be held in his absence secondly a lot of government documents that ministers and the chief minister are in possession of are all confidential documents so how does he function from jail in such a case so it's not immediately clear that something like this can happen the aam aadmi party has cited the case of sahara head subroto roy and how he was running an office from tihar jail they've not told any court this so far but that's something that they've said in conversations that this is also a precedent that exists and do they have a plan b in that sense are there any other strong leaders that can take his place so there is obviously a second line of leaders this will include gopal rai atishi saurabh there are other leaders as well who might not be involved in the government they have sandeep pathak who's a rajya sabha mp who's also the national general secretary for organizational work but there is no leader for the aam aadmi party who's as tall as kejriwal because of his electoral success and how he formed the party he is the glue that holds all of them together 
so it will be very difficult for them to you know find someone to i don't think they are also thinking about replacing anyone but to even fill in in the meanwhile and malika when we look at just how this case has panned out is there a concern among party members that they could face arrest as well so you know the excise policy case the way it has panned out sanjay singh was never really named as a big accused in the case the rajya sabha mp sanjay singh he was also arrested in the same case during the investigation ed has spoken about a few other leaders whose names have come up here and there so that fear that more people could be arrested is always there but aam aadmi party has also said in the past that when the leaders came into politics they knew that this was something that could always happen to them because of the work that they do this is how they see it so while there is concern it's not like anyone's right now running away from that anyone that you know you see on on your television screens they've all spoken about how they stand with this they are ready to go to jail and they've been part of protests since uh, arvind kejriwal was arrested on thursday also do we have a sense of how his core voters and people from his constituency are making of this case and his arrest so while you know forming an opinion about what people think at large is very difficult but from our conversations with the voters and with people on the ground so far it does look like a lot of people are questioning whether this was the right move to arrest a sitting chief minister he is undoubtedly extremely popular he has won two elections in delhi the first time aam aadmi party won they had 67 out of 70 seats the second time they won they had 62 out of 70 seats so there is clearly overwhelming support for him and a lot of people do say and do think that this is something that's this is wrong but again there is also a set of people who think that an investigating agency wouldn't just pick up someone like the chief minister if they had no proof so the core voters of course a lot of them do still seem to support him now shortly after kejriwal's arrest on thursday last week the opposition india bloc rallied behind him and launched an attack on the bjp and prime minister narendra modi from senior congress leader rahul gandhi and congress president mallikarjun kharge to tamil nadu chief minister and dmk leader mk stalin kerala chief minister pinarayi vijayan ncp chief sharad pawar samajwadi party's akhilesh yadav rjd's tejasvi yadav a whole range of opposition leaders severely criticized the government we all know that you know arvind kejriwal's aam aadmi party is a key member of the opposition india bloc that's indian express's chief of national political bureau manoj cg now some two months ago towards the end of january when jmm leader and jharkhand chief minister hemant soren was arrested in another case the response was slightly tepid all the opposition leaders even then also criticized the move so there's a qualitative difference you know in their response after the arrest of arvind kejriwal if you remember in the same case a week ago brs leader k kavita was also arrested the brs is not a part of the india bloc so there was a complete silence on the part of the opposition when she was arrested but now there is a difference the difference is that kejriwal is one of the very vocal critics of you know prime minister narendra modi and the bjp he is one of those uh, linchpins uh, we can call it of the india bloc uh, he shares a good personal equation with many of the leaders be it you know mamta banerji or dmk's mk stalin so the reaction of course was rather aggressive and of course the another factor is that the election schedule for the lok sabha elections have already been announced the mcc is in place the model code of conduct is in place so that is another imperative for the opposition to you know rally behind kejriwal and raise their voice call upon the supreme court to actually take so much to cognizance of what has happened it is very clear that what is happening is violative of the spirit of democracy which the supreme court has repeatedly affirmed is part of the basic structure of the constitution and therefore the court has every right to stop the government from taking any action that has a material effect on the elections short of an imminent law and order crisis like a riot about to break out no government servant no investigative agency has any right to interfere with the workings of democracy hamare netaon ke sath bhi hua hai din mein hota hai savere aate hain baat cheet karte hain uske baad aap kare iska kya ye koi tarika hai ki raat ko 1 baje 2 baje aap kisi ke yahan ja ke giraftari kare और जो पिछले कुछ समय से हम लोग देख रहे हैं चाहे हमारे अकाउंट्स को फ्रीज करने की बात हो हेमंत सोरेन के अरेस्ट की बात हो केजरीवाल जी के अरेस्ट करने की बात हो ये ईडी इसको केवल चुनाव के साथ जोड़ रहा है इसका और कोई लेना देना नहीं है आज कोई व्यक्ति सुरक्षित नहीं है देश में किसी को भी अरेस्ट हो सकती है कानून नहीं है 
जंगल राज चल रहा है जैसे रशिया में पुतिन का चल रहा है चाइना में चल रहा है यही पैटर्न यहाँ चल रहा है इसे गुजरात पैटर्न बोलते हैं आजकल but they also went to the election commission the other day asking the whole body to intervene pointing out that since the mcc is in place his arrest will in effect means that a key opposition leader will be out of the campaign so there will be a lack of level playing field in elections so the opposition wanted the election commission to intervene and put in place a mechanism some sort of a committee to vet further raids arrest or something you know similar action that the investigating agencies might be contemplating so the opposition's reaction was qualitatively different this time compared to arrest and raids in the past and manoj considering like you said kejriwal is this linchpin he is an extremely popular leader what do you think his arrest means for the larger india block alliance one you know it's very demoralizing for the opposition when they are you know entering this crucial lok sabha election battle there is this one big case that it will be part of the bjp narrative this will dominate the discourse there is this corruption allegation against the sitting chief minister which led to his arrest well, less than 2 months ago another chief minister faced similar corruption charges he was arrested so it becomes easier for the bjp you know to paint the entire opposition block as a you know, coalition of the corrupt in the sense if you look at the opposition parties there are cases against a senior trinamool congress leader mamta banerjee's nephew abhishek banerjee then aam aadmi party of course this case couple of their leaders are already in jail there are charges against jmm there are charges against senior congress leaders so it becomes easier for the bjp to project or dub this coalition as a coalition of the corrupt secondly if you remove a senior leader a very vocal voice a vocal critic of the government from the campaign scene it affects opposition not just in delhi or not just in punjab in many parts we are in a, a new era of you know campaigning phase where social media where other modes of communication are used extensively by all the parties so you don't need to be physically present at a rally in mumbai or in chennai or in bangalore or in kolkata to you know send across your message so kejriwal was one of those potent forces which the opposition was relying on and manoj besides kejriwal's arrest the other thing that we heard from three leaders of the congress party last week uh, malik arjun kharge sonia gandhi and rahul gandhi was that the government was crippling the party financially by freezing its bank accounts now this has been a major allegation talk about what we know about its details this tax reassessment case which the congress is facing it dates back couple of years what essentially happened was that it relates to the 2017 2018 financial year and the case has been going on since then at the income tax level at the appellate tribunal level the itat so the congress has been fighting this case for some time what really happened was the decision to you know freeze technical world is put a lien on around 210 crore that's what the congress claims of cash in their bank accounts the one allegation is that the congress has leveled is that the income tax has even approached some of these banks where the congress has accounts and forced the bank managers to take out money from the congress account and deposit with the government with the income tax according to the congress we should just reiterate that again and again according to the congress there is a lien of 210 crore in its bank account which essentially means that they won't be able to you know use this money they won't be able to withdraw this money for the campaign purposes so what has happened was that the entire congress top leadership malikarjun khadige the party president and his predecessors sonia gandhi and rahul gandhi they had just a press conference claiming that the party is really short of funds to book advertisements in newspapers or you know other campaign expenses they are really you know skewed in that sense so the allegation is that the government is crippling the main opposition party financially but it is really rare or in fact or the main opposition party in india you know since independence to face such a situation where you know there is a lien on their bank accounts the congress is calling it a freeze on their bank accounts but technically there is no freeze on their bank accounts but again they will not be able to you know withdraw close to around 200 crore which are there in their bank accounts right and we understand that congress at the moment has also not been able to find any legal success or relief in the matter but tell us with what's been happening with the aam aadmi party and what we are hearing from the congress has the opposition found itself in a position like this before 
This is rare. Just on the eve of elections, we have not seen uh, such a situation before. Two of the opposition chief ministers are arrested within a span of two months. The main opposition party is, you know, leveling an allegation that it's being crippled financially, and the opposition parties are uh, alleging that, you know, the investigating agencies are being used to target them. So this is a new situation that we are witnessing, where one of the main charges of the opposition parties against the government is not related to, you know, any of the policies or schemes or the bread and butter issues that generally, you know. dominates an election discourse here the charge is you know the ruling party is there is this high handed approach by the ruling party against the opposition parties denying them a level playing field in elections which they believe has you know huge repercussions for the democracy in itself so this is a completely new situation that that we are witnessing now now the criticism of the opposition finds echo in the fact that since 2014 When the Narendra Modi led BJP government first came to power there has been a significant increase in ED cases against politicians in comparison to the previous UPA regime Back in 2022 a report carried by the Indian Express showed that this jump had been four times This report was based on a study of court records agency statements and reports of politicians booked arrested raided or questioned by the ED While only 26 political leaders were probed under the previous UPA regime, a total of 121 prominent politicians had come under the ED scanner between 2014 and 2022. And it is noteworthy that while 54% of them were from the opposition under the UPA, the proportion now has increased to 95%. But after talking about how the Aam Aadmi Party has been dealing with this crisis and what the opposition makes of it, We finally move on to the BJP. When speaking to Indian Express's deputy editor Liz Matthew, BJP leaders told her that one of the main fallouts of the arrest would be the impairing of AAP ahead of the polls. And uh, Aam Aadmi Party, although it is not a party which is going to make lot of resonance in from Kashmir to Kanyakumari, it has its own pocket, it has its own strength. and kejri ward is the main pillar main brain behind amani party he is the star campaigner and even if you look at the opposition india block after rahul gandhi and after sonia gandhi you know kejri ward would be the main face of the campaign because he has a different audience you may not be his fan or something but you one has to accept the fact that he has a different audience and that audience is there across the state whether people will listen to him and ought and whether they will be able to translate that kind of goodwill or uh, that interest in him to what it says it's a secondary issue but at least he's one of the chief campaigners of the opposition the idea is that when he's away the competition will become one sided especially if the congress is not able to access its funds but list says the way the bjp is defending its decision is by saying that this is all part of its campaign against corruption and the party has pinned down the corruption charges on this excise policy against the delhi government and if kejriwal was not arrested it would have looked bad on the bjp leadership it look like the party is scared of his popularity or something the people who are with the bjp the people who are supporting the electorate who are supporting the bjp's ways of approaching the corruption and the corrupt leaders in politics they would have felt bad and they would have felt little discouraged about this so to upbeat the mood and to kind of boost their morale the party had to do it just ahead of the election we waited for so long and we realized that the other persons whether it is sanjay singh or whether it is manish sisodia were not getting bail which means there are enough evidences and uh, if all the cases were like made up they would have got bail and they would have come out this is their argument and also when prime minister modi's main election issue is corruption and family politics and all he couldn't resist such a move and give a leverage to kejriwal this is their argument now although the bjp hopes that the aam aadmi party will lose steam before the elections begin list says that there are some concerns that the move could potentially backfire and lead some to believe that modi is scared of kejriwal that view also is there that could 
get the amani party some sympathy not the entire opposition amani party some sympathy there is some apprehension among some quarters of bjp some leaders are expressing this view that for which we have to see whether the amani party is in a position to keep up this kind of steam in the in their uh, protest or agitation and also whether they will be able to gain the confidence of this so called fence sitter voters you were listening to three things by the indian express Today's show was written and produced by me Shashank Bhargav and was edited and mixed by Suresh Pawar. If you like the show then do subscribe to us wherever you get your podcasts. You can also recommend the show to someone you think will like it, share it with a friend or someone in your family. It's the best way for people to get to know about us. You can tweet us at express podcast and write to us at podcast@indianexpress.com. At